Hello, welcome to 3D Thursdays. Today we're going to be looking at Blender 2.5. I'm running Blender 2.5.1. Um, and we're just going to be looking at a lot of what we're going to show today is stuff I've gone over but may have not done just one video on it and some of that may have gone over in an older Blender 2.4. So first off, make sure you're running at least uh, some form of Blender 2.5. If you're running Blender 2.4, things are going to be in different places. I get a lot of people saying that their Blender interface doesn't look like mine. It's because you're running a different version of Blender. Um, so. Also, I get a lot of questions on, well, I add materials and textures to objects, but then I go into game mode and I don't see them. And uh, the answer to this is, is relatively uh, a simple answer, but we'll go through it all right now. So right here we have our default scene. I'm going to delete our default cube because it already has materials and textures and we want to start off with something fresh. So I'm just going to add in another cube, even though it's the same thing, it doesn't have material and textures. So I'm also going to hit T and that gets rid of that little toolbar there we don't need right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out. I'll add a material here. And I will add a new texture, make it an image. I'll go open and I'll go to um, my pictures. And when you're in the uh, file select mode for pictures here, you can click here. And this will give you a little thumbnail view of all the photos. I'm going to choose this image of my goat sticking his tongue out. So there we go. If I hit F12 now, it renders out. Uh, right now we have it set to flat, so you only get the image on the top. One side's black because of where the lighting is. So if I was to grab this little light source here, hit 7 on the number pad, grab it with G and move it over here. If I hit F12 now, you can see the other side of the box now. You just couldn't see it before because of the type of lighting and the location of lighting. And once again, it's getting stretched out because right now our coordinates for that, let's select that cube again, are set to flat. If we set that to cube, now if we hit F12, it basically wraps it around the object as if it was a cube. This is a cube, so everything wraps around evenly. So that's great, but if I go to camera view here and I hit P to go into game mode, hey, no texture. Same thing if I come down here and click on this, because right now we're in solid mode. If I go to textured mode, you still don't see the image, and I'll hit P, and you see the image, but it's kind of um, not lined up properly. So first things first, to view the image in game mode, you have to be in textured mode. So once again, you'd click on this here and go up to textured. Also, something I like to do, I like to use the UV coordinates when I'm working in game mode so I know where the texture is lined up. Also, you'll be able to see UV textures in while you're editing the object, not only in game mode. So let's default, delete this default cube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to once again add in another cube. I'm going to drag this out here. I'm going to go and change this to my UV image editor, which right now is showing my rendered image here. And in fact, let's hit the X right down here to remove that. So we just have a blank little screen. At this point, what I'm going to do is with the cube selected, I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to hit U to unwrap. Now there's a lot of different unwrap options or UV mapping options. There's unwrap, there's smart UV protect, uh, projection, um, some of these I haven't really messed with like these two here, uh, cube projection, cylinder projection, uh, sphere um, projection. What these three do is basically if you pick cube, imagine it putting a cube around the object and then putting the image on each one of those sides. Cylinder would be putting an imaginary cylinder around and putting the image on that and then shrink wrapping it around the object. Same with the sphere. It would put an imaginary sphere around the, the object, put a image completely around that sphere and then shrink wrap it to, let's say, our cube. Also, projection from view, which I use a lot, and projection from view bounds, which would do the same thing. Basically, it takes whatever view we're looking at the object and it will basically project 
the image onto that, kind of like your, your view as a projector. And projection bounds the same thing, but matches it to the size of the image you're adding it to. So once again, edit mode, you, in this case, I'm just gonna do unwrap, because we have a nice square object. It's gonna take each face and put it so that it matches our little image here, which we don't have an image yet. So let's click here. At this point, we can hit image, open, open up a new image, or we can click here since we've already imported image, and I'm gonna choose my goat sticking out his tongue again. It's a little larger resolution. You can center scroll to scroll out. And now you can see, since we're in textured mode, and let me hit tab to get out of edit mode here, you can see the texture in the uh, edit mode. And if I hit P, it looks the same. Lighting's a little different. It's actually using lighting rather than just a almost a shadeless projection. But So this is real nice because now I edit, as long as I have this set to textured mode, I will see how it will look inside the game mode. So if I was to come over here and like, if I hit tab while well, I have the cube selected, go into edit mode, you can edit the, the vertices and, and edges and faces in here just like you would on the actual object. So I can hit A to unselect all, I can hit B to box select, I can grab those with G, and I can use uh, in here Y is up and down, X is left and right, and I can go like this. And you can see how it edits the image. I'm cropping it there, and if I hit P, if I hit tab to get out of edit mode, and then P, you can see it looks the same. So that's very convenient when you're working in edit mode to use the UV editor here to get that, and then use textured mode, uh, texture shading, so you can see what the textures look like. And also, once again, in game mode, to see it, like if I was to set this to solid, if I hit P, you're not gonna see the material or the texture. So you wanna make sure you're in textured mode when you actually go to play the game. I'm going to, Move this back up, like so.